When gas prices jump, you still gotta work. So suddenly you're cutting back on everything from family vacations to cell phone minutes. Well, here's a thought. How about cutting back on gas? Here's how. The Ford F-150. It gets 23 highway miles per gallon. That's the best. So you can get the job done and get a break at the pump. Yeah, how's that sound? This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. big tricks he has pulled off. Making his debut in the Nationwide Series will be Travis's toughest test yet. Green flag at Richmond. Because here, he's just another rookie with something to prove. But then again, this is Travis Pastrana, and he's no ordinary rookie. The NASCAR Nationwide Series at Richmond, tomorrow at 7 on ESPN2. Knowing your customers is important to any successful business. Which is why, at Wells Fargo, we work with you to get to know the unique aspects of your business. We can recommend financial solutions that can work for you that have helped millions of business owners save time, reduce expenses, and maximize cash flow. As the number one small business lender for nine years running, we're with you when you need us. So you can be there for your customers. Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. This lets us know every time someone takes home a new Nissan. Every minute, someone buys a new Nissan. It's no wonder when you're named the country's most innovative car company, and they'll be going really fast during Nissan's Sale a Minute event. Save up to $31.50 on Altima or up to $2,500 back on Frontier. Event ends soon. Visit ChooseNissan.com or your Southern California dealer. Not a minute too soon. Makes it interesting, John. And a welcome back, everybody, to New York, where it's time for our GMC Never Say Never moments for the New York Giants in Super Bowls against New England. Underdog both times. Who can forget Eli Manning to David Tyree with the bubble gum on the helmet? And then to Plexico Burris in the final minute to win 17-14 in the desert. Then four years later, well, wow, Tom Coughlin, he can't coach, get him out. Yeah, no, they're right in the Super Bowl again, trailing the Patriots. Eli Manning to Mario Manningham with a great play on the sideline. Then Ahmad Bradshaw with the touchdown, and it was over. The Giants won 21-17 again, upending the Patriots last February in Indianapolis. And so the New York Giants picking last. Tom Coughlin having set a record for most times being fired without ever having been fired and has two Super Bowl rings to show for it. The New York Giants and general manager Jerry Reese comes up with the Victor Cruises of the world who never was drafted. So the Giants who missed the playoffs two years ago at 10 and six, win the division and win the Super Bowl at nine and seven, and now we're drafting 32. So the Giants, look, they're running game, it's funny. The Super Bowl champ, and you look at stuff, okay, running game, dead last, 32. Pants defense, almost one of the worst, 29. And then you tear it up and you say, well, wait, the Vince Lombardi trophy is right in it where it should be, at the Vince Lombardi service area, right here on the New Jersey Turnpike. What should the Giants do here? I think they'd like to get another weapon for Eli Manning, but it makes sense to me, Mel, to take an offensive lineman here. There's a couple pretty good players on the board. Jonathan Martin, the big left tackle from Stanford. Cordy Glenn started 50 games for the Georgia Bulldogs. Bobby Massey from Ole Miss. David Deal went outside and played left tackle when Beattie got hurt last year. Beattie's been a disappointment. I think the Giants could help themselves by taking an offensive lineman. I agree with you, John. There's three offensive linemen that you talked about were all projected maybe to go in the first round. Certainly running back with Doug Martin gone. You think they'll go away from that position? I agree with you. I think the offensive line. And then Kobe Fleener, remember we talked about the Colts maybe getting him an early second to hook up with Luck? He goes, oh, he won't be there. He won't get to the second. Kobe Fleener for the Indianapolis Colts. Early the second round tomorrow, if he's still there, we'll see. The Giants, he thought he might be in play for them as well. You think if Martin, the running back from Boise State, the Tampa just jumped up to take, was still there, the Giants would look at him? Have to consider him. Now, they've, they've done well at running back, fourth round with yes. Jacobs, late rounds with Bradshaw, Bradshaw, so maybe that's their philosophy. Hey, we can get a running back down the line. Of course, we should remind everybody, Brandon Jacobs and Mario Manningham are now signed uh, with the San Francisco 49ers. Really the offseason move that the... Giants made to bring in Keith Rivers a one-time 
uh, first round pick of the Cincinnati Bengals injured never quite but he's now uh, a giant as a linebacker and that really was what they did in a season where Eli Manning and Tom Coughlin said well we're not got two Super Bowls we're still at the primes of our careers both of them even though Tom is the oldest coach in the business so the Giants and their fans are wait no they're outscored last year I mean it's just it's just <laughs> but boy in the playoffs there was no outscoring them G-Man here it is with the 32nd pick in the 2012 NFL draft the world champion New York Giants select David Wilson, running back, Virginia Tech. Well, no, is, there is the running back, right? Jacobs gone, Bradshaw also hurt some. So right at the end, we have running backs two and three go in the first round. Had Wilson going to the Giants last pick in the second, they take him last pick in the first. So it's a little early. You thought maybe with Wilson, he doesn't block that well. He's a speed guy. Johnny's an athletic guy. You watch him on film, you broke him down. He can make some things happen. Very athletic. About a 41 inch vertical jump. This kid can fly. Think about all around play. Can he do it? He had some fumbling problems. Ball security at Virginia Tech was an issue. He knows it, and he knows he has to change that in the NFL. But the talent is in abundance with David Wilson if he can kind of round off his game just a bit. I like David Wilson. 1,700 yards. He had 22 catches. He's also an outstanding kickoff returner. David Wilson will give the Giants another back that they can line up in a lot of different formations. They like to go with that no back set, throw the ball to Ahmad Bradshaw. Here's a kid, Wilson, a couple years ago that did catch the ball and prove he could do it out of the backfield. And if you haven't seen him jump yet, this kid can do about 13 somersaults. I can't wait till he scores. You got Victor <laughs> Cruz doing that salsa dance, and you got David Wilson doing these flips. He's a triple jump track champion, rare athlete, and a good kid, and Tom Coughlin, knows what he's looking for so there it is i mean mel did we did we even get started here three hours let's all do the second we round have first rounds it took six hours this was a delight we'll be back to talk about what happened what might happen tomorrow in rounds two and three we got more from radio city music hall well in new york we have never had this fast the first round not since maybe it was a 12-team league Three quarterbacks selected in the first eight picks. Luck, RG3, and Tannehill, four in all with Brandon Whedon. Four Alabama players went in the first round. There are eight trades made in the first round. Quarterback wide receiver from Baylor and Oklahoma State went. Two Notre Dame first rounders for the first time since 94. Boise stated only had two first rounders in the history of their program till tonight. And they had two all told. You know what? We're going to have to review this thing with John and Mel when we come back in a moment. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Levy. You just know it's a special show. Huge. Carl Ravitch has dropped by the Sports Center Top Ten Room. Those of you watching the draft, not to worry. We've been watching everything else. Right. Levy drafted me. We also have been getting your tweets during the night. Hashtag SC Top Ten. We'll have all the great plays. There were a bunch of them. Sports Center coming up back in the first round. ESPN's cover to the 2012 NFL Draft is presented by Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. And in part by GMC, the official vehicle of the NFL. And the new film, G.I. Joe Retaliation, June 29th. This film is not yet rated. Back in New York, I mean, it's just 10 minutes past 11 Eastern. It's not even dinner time in Hawaii. And we're done with the first round. A new, a new speed record. A lot of things happen, though. Quarterbacks flying. Coach, your impressions around one. I like uh, Melvin Ingram going to San Diego. I thought that was the pick of the night for me. In New England. you got to improve your defense. You get two players, Chandler Jones and Dante Hightower. We have plenty more thoughts coming up here, but SportsCenter never expected to be on at this time. Steve and Carl had to hustle into the studio to get ready. For Mel Kuyper and John Gruden and all of us here in New York, thanks for watching round one of... The lights stay on in this city. The heat stays up in this room. Your confidence still high. You heard the names. 
saw the smiles, but your time will come.